Hi everyone, this is Mariana. It is such a privilege and an honor to be part of Marriage Week. On our wedding day, we so easily say to have and to hold till death do us part. But do we truly wholeheartedly promise that to each other? Do we get married because that is what everyone do after university? Or because we would rather be with the wrong person than being alone? Do we really understand the significance of marriage? That God, our Father, ordained marriage as a holy union? Do we realize that our marriages display a picture of Jesus and His Bride? Do we appreciate that our marriages put the beauty of the Gospel on display? It's holy, as it was designed by a holy God. Marriage is the cornerstone of our families, our communities, our nations and the world. That being said, we should also realize that marriage is a key target of the enemy. Oh, and how well is he doing to bring separation, divorce, staying together without marriage commitment or getting married for all the wrong reasons, leading to unfulfilled, unhappy lives. I love what Nancy the Moss Wolgamuth from Revive Our Hearts says about marriage. She says marriage was created by God. It was the first human institution ordained by God. It was not a random idea. It was something God had in the wisdom and the inscrutable counsels of His heart in eternity past. It was created by God, designed by God, the creator of life, to tell the gospel. Marriage is God's idea. It is His plan, His creation. It is foundational to our telling and our understanding of the gospel. God's word defines marriage because God created it. Polls can measure where the public is on all of this. Politicians can pass laws to redefine it. They can say the definition is evolving, but marriage is what God says it is. He is the creator of marriage. God says in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, female and male joined together, and they shall become one flesh. Marriage is super important to our Heavenly Father. And through this video, I would like to speak life and love over each, each marriage. The prayer of my heart is that our amazing Heavenly Father will pour out His unending, unfailing love over you and your soulmate. Because there is one thing that I've learned. We can only love well once we have received love ourselves. And it's only our Heavenly Father who can show us what it means to truly love with all our heart and soul. I would like to challenge you today. Put aside some time and search for scripture references about love. You don't need fancy tools, Google will do. Read what the Bible, God's word says about love and ask our Father to shower you like rain would come down in a desert with his unconditional, never failing love so that you too can be filled and from that abundance extend the same kind of love to your spouse. The Bible teaches us that love is the most important element in our lives. We have life because of love, capital L. May our Heavenly Father reveal new truths about biblical insights about your marriage this week. May He renew your heart and refresh your love for that special person in your life. May He shower you with love so abundantly that it will overflow to your loved one. May Jesus take you by the hand and teach you more about Him and His bride. And may your marriage be a reflection of the spectacular picture of the Gospel, of Jesus, our everlasting light, life and hope, and His bride, us, to whom He has given His life. And may we ready ourselves, clothed in the most beautiful wedding attire, ready to meet our heavenly groom. May your marriage truly be a reflection of our Father, Jesus and His Bride, the Gospel, hope and light. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for creating a holy union between man and woman to reflect your love and the Gospel to the world. Father, help us not to get stuck in the lies of this world or the culture, but show us your truth. Help us understand your original design for our marriages. Father, create a hunger in our hearts to seek your will and plan for our marriages. Create a desire in us to evaluate the condition of our hearts. 
Lord, you know it's so easy to point a finger to the other person, but let revival start within us. I pray for renewal of our hearts and minds. O oh, Jesus, come and do a new work in each one of us so that we can apply that to our marriages. Father God, the prayer of our hearts is for our marriages to reflect your love to a lost and broken world. Father, we pray for the restoration of broken relationships and families. We pray that you will restore in tenfold that which the enemy has stolen. May your grace and love, Father, always be victorious in our lives. May it be our greatest desire to put you first in our marriages, to seek you first in all we do or say. Jesus, lead us on the path that you have set before us. Holy Spirit, give us wisdom and insight and inspire us to love each other like God loves us. Father, may each of our marriages put the beauty of the gospel on display and may everything be for your glory. Jesus, in your mighty name we pray this. Amen. From our Women at Work online ministries, or WOW family, as we like to call it, have the most wonderful and blessed marriage week. Bye.